Thank you very much, Logan. Well, our next guest led a Texas congressional delegation to the southern border to assess President Biden's border crisis firsthand. Joining us now to discuss what he and others were able to see is Republican Congressman Brian Babin. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Great to be with you, Heather and Tom. So I know that you were, amongst some other places, at the uh, facility in Donna, Texas, I think, yesterday. Um, tell us a little bit about what you saw. We were able to see some of the devastating images. These pods that were supposed to only house, what, 32 people, the upwards of 500 at a time are being kept in these pods. Is that right? That's exactly right. Those are some of the some of the uh, very pictures and scenes that we saw when we were there. We were stunned, uh, and you know it's the the hypocrisy of hearing about the uh, kids in cages during the uh, uh, during the Trump administration, and then to, and to walk in and see this this type of thing, uh, and to be you know unbelievable. They they talk about a humanitarian problem back during the Trump administration. I, I don't know what they call this, but they, they keep telling us that there's not a crisis, that the border is closed, that people are being turned back. And if you put the whole thing in, in, in perspective, uh, that facility holds about 250 people, in, individuals, uh, UACs, unaccompanied uh, uh, children. Uh, and there are 5,700, at least there were uh, a couple of days ago when I was there, and I just got back last night. When we went on a trip from uh, uh, from Padre Island and, and, and Port Isabel all the way through McAllen, uh, we went to Laredo. We went up to to uh, 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 Car Carrizo Springs. We saw a number of facilities. We visited the Coast Guard. We went with the, the Drug Enforcement uh, Agency. Uh, we went to the to the river on several occasions at nighttime, mm -hmm. uh, and it was stunning to see how wide open this border is. It's not closed. It's wide open. Uh, there are children in inhumane conditions. We are in the middle of a COVID pandemic, and uh, they're telling us, the American citizens, to, to distance ourselves, wear masks, and uh, these kids are on top of one another in, yeah. these, uh, in these facilities. Congressman, I'm sure you've seen the new numbers out from the Border Patrol, 160,000 just last month, 35,000 have gotten away. There was uh, originally uh, some estimate, I believe, by one of your colleagues who said, well, we could see a million illegal border crossers. But if you look at those numbers, uh, it could easily be twice that amount. You've been talking to your colleagues in government uh, at the state and local level. It seems that the Biden administration does not want to slow this down. Uh, do they feel like there are any state and local options to try and, and stop the, the flow of these migrants? Well, we talked to the, uh, a number of state uh, officials as well. Uh, oh, by the way, we invited Vice President Kamala Harris to uh, attend some of our stops along the on our itinerary. We never heard anything back from uh, the administration there. Uh, she is supposedly uh, has taken charge of the of the administration's uh, uh, border policies, and uh, we never heard a thing. Uh, but yes, we saw plenty of Texas Army National Guardsmen down there. Uh, as I said, Coast Guard, a number of other uh, state officials and, and, of course, the federal officials. And I don't want in any way, shape, or form to be sounding like I'm faulting Border Patrol mm -hmm. or the, or, uh, you know, Customs and Border Protection uh, officers, because they are doing exactly the hardest job probably in this country sure. today, uh, because we have so many overwhelming numbers of these uh, individuals coming over. I saw a video, I didn't see this in person, but I saw a video uh, of a three and a four year old child being dropped uh, mm -hmm. by by a human smuggler from the top of a 15 foot fence. They bounced on the ground and they tossed their shoes over. Oh, and uh, if it hadn't it been there, yeah, it, Congressman, we we actually are showing video of that right now, and that was shot just by chance. Luckily, uh, somebody, as you said, from CBP, I believe it was, was able to see this as it was happening, and they were able to go and rescue those two little little children. I think, were they both little girls, actually? Yes, a three and a four-year-old. And, and and to have the Border Patrol being uh, compared to the Ku Klux Klan by our yeah. vice president, then Senator uh, Harris, uh, and then they go and rescue people. I mean, they rescue people mm -hmm. out of the Rio Grande River. Uh, they, they save people in the middle of the desert. Uh, these guys and ladies are overwhelmed. 
they are taken off of the line because of the overwhelming numbers uh, to take care of these uh, these unaccompanied minors. And then that leaves a gap in the coyotes and the cartels take advantage of it with drugs. We saw stacks and crates and cases of drugs, mm -hmm. all kinds. I'm a healthcare practitioner, fentanyl, uh, cocaine, marijuana, methamphetamine. It's, it's just overwhelming what's what's happening down there. And then to have the the Biden administration say, "Oh, this is not a this is not right. a crisis challenge." Uh, it's outrageous. They're, uh, not, they're, you, they're misleading the American people. Have you heard anything about the president coming to the border? What is the latest on that? Do you think that he should make that trip? And why do you believe he has not done so yet? You know, it's hard to, it's hard to say. Uh, you know, they keep the president pretty well locked up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's had one press conference, I think, or maybe, maybe another one since that time. But they were all softball questions. They run the, the, the press out of the room every time he, he, he talks to the public. Uh, and quite frankly, I'm not sure. It'd be tough for this president to go down to the border. And I, I think that may be one reason. I don't know for sure. But maybe that's why they have uh, Harris uh, uh, get taking the ball on this, uh, on this situation at the border. Uh, but I'll, I'll just tell you this. Thank you to Newsmax. Thank you to a number of uh, too few numbers. Of, uh, of people who are telling the truth and uh, that have news uh, outlets uh, because the, the, the American people absolutely need to know what's going on down here. It is a disaster unfolding. We will have, we will have a crime wave in this country. We're going to be overwhelmed in our school and our, our, our medical facilities. Uh, uh, and uh, it's coming. And then the, the, the enormous cost of uh, the, the, the facility in Donna is costing $16 million a month. Uh, and we will yeah. absolutely have, uh, that's just one of the facilities. It's going to be overwhelming. Yeah, and Bi is. Biden created this. Right. Uh, Heather Biden created this problem, and he needs to see it firsthand. I hope he does. His rhetoric and the Democrats' rhetoric are, have incentivized this mm -hmm. uh, to continue. And we, we will have up to, we could have 2 million people coming through, across our border by the, this year. All right. Well, Congressman Babin, thank you so much. And we do appreciate the fact that you went down there to the border and showing uh, the pictures for everyone so they can see for themselves what is happening. And let's hope that we can do something to get it under control. That's right. Thank you. You bet. Thank you all. God bless. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.